look lonely. I can fix that. Every day I, I get up early in the morning around 6.30, sometimes earlier, and I I go and I train and you know it's it's zero degrees at times outside. The sun is not out yet. I'm the only person in the park, on the bars, training off the floor or a bench. I'm the only person there. I'm lonely. But I find peace. I find happiness in that solitude, knowing that I'm doing the right thing. I'm, I'm not taking the, the easy route. Like so much of our society, and, and that's part of the reason people are so lost, young men are so lost, is we're scared of loneliness, but we need to understand that through suffering, through pain, uh, God provides us with, with lessons, with tests so that we can grow, so that we can really discover who we actually are. There's no happiness without sacrifice prior. And you know, when my hands are numb, I can't feel my face, my my eyes are squinting because of the wind. I, I finally, finally started to be grateful for that loneliness, be grateful for that cold, be grateful for that pain, because I know every time I do it, every rep, every set, every morning, I become a better person, I become 1% better. All of my free time is spent studying, working on side projects, praying, meditating, trying to find out who I actually am. And every day, yeah, every day I question myself. I say, you know, Reese, are you crazy? Why are you doing this? Put on Netflix, play the games you were addicted to. Why don't you go to a website that you shouldn't? And I, I thank God, I thank God every day that I have the strength, not always, but I have the strength most of the time to, to reject those impulses, to reject that devil on the shoulder trying to tempt me into mediocrity. Because my friend, mediocrity is far lonelier and far more painful 